My name is Anthony Mitchell. I'm a painter and graphic designer, and I brought five pieces with me, all on wood, all painted on, and all pretty much resembling the Lost House from the 90s cartoon era. Um, and that's pretty much the focus of my work. I started doing art when I was like, I was homeschooled up until fourth, fifth grade, and I really didn't have like a formal education. So a lot of my work was just drawing, you know, my parents were around, stuff like that. And most of my stuff was always abstract and never had like any like cohesive image with it. Um, as I got into school, public school and started taking art courses, I had like more of a steady foundation to draw upon and I like added like a lot more formalist aspects to it. A lot of art history aspects like Picasso. I was really interested in um, Bosch and Dali when I was very young. And then when I got to college, my style actually came to its own. That's when I did one of my first pieces, which is Monster, which is a very surrealist piece. And that was the first time I actually experimented with actually painting and drawing at the same time and combining them, especially on the wood as like the medium or the canvas to use. So that's how much I got to this point, you know. Well, um, the first piece I did after I showed it to my art professor at the time, he told me that I should stop doing any kind of work like that. That kind of painting wasn't going to sell. It wasn't like, you know, wanted. It was coffee shop art, in his opinion. And I should just stop and go back to making pretty much these sculptures where me tearing things apart and putting them back together. And no one wanted to see that and also wouldn't sell. So I could I was two rows. I could have said, fuck it, I'm not going to do this kind of work anymore. But then I was just like, no, nah, I mean, he's wrong. I can do it myself. So I could turn it on and like, it you know, grew and it evolved into something that I really enjoy and most people come up the street and say, yo man, I've seen your stuff, I like it. I got comp co uh, clothing companies that want to do work with me, so I'm with Nerds Up, uh, they're a clothing line I'm doing work with. So if you never met me, you would find out that at one point I was gonna quit doing that completely. And it was just a fact that I was just like, let's see what happens, you know? I mean, I have nothing to lose when I'm 24, what the fuck, you know? So that's pretty much where I come from. I see myself in about two years pretty much having my own um, clothing company, if anything. Uh, right now, I'm with the graphic design corp that I started called Graphic Fiction, a small liberal, like, liberal corporate. But um, I really want to expand more and have my own clothing line, um, do more graphic design work, and pretty much not live in America when I do it. That's the mojo thing. And if like any artist, I want to support myself through my craft. That's all I want, you know. Stop working in restaurants, and stop working for other people, and just paint and draw and get money from it. And, you know, live like a baller, you know. So like, that's pretty much what I'm trying to do in five years, so. My name is Anthony Mitchell. I'm with Graphic Fiction Creative Firm. You can find us on Twitter, Graphic Fiction at Twitter. You can find us on Facebook, Graphic Fiction on um, Facebook. Just type in Graphic Fiction, um, pretty much any social outlet we're on there. Do anything from t-shirts to logo designs, wherever you want it. We're just hustling, making the streets. We're from Atlanta to Brooklyn, LA, wherever you want to go, we'll meet you. We'll be there with the sketch bags, with the books, whatever you need. We'll give you a cool ass design. If you don't like it, we'll make it better. Understand? Holla at your boy. I'm Anthony Mitchell. I'm a raw artist.